We at Rebellion are pleased to present Moonbase Commander. If you are not already familiar with the gameplay, this brief video will help to get you started. Let's begin. We'll use the challenge mode in single player to demonstrate the basics. This is your main hub. It is the heart of your network and must be protected at all costs. Hubs are used to launch all weapons and units. Launching costs energy. Your energy store is shown here. It is refilled at the beginning of each turn. To succeed, you will need to increase your energy store. To do this, you must place energy collectors on the pink energy pools. Weapons and units cost 1, 3 or 7 energy to launch. Energy collectors cost 7 and so can be found under the 7 menu. Notice that with an item selected, we enter launch mode. The small aiming marker here indicates the direction of launch. Use these arrows to adjust aim. We wish to land our energy collector on the nearby pool. To launch, we will hold the launch button and release when the power meter indicates the required amount. In this case, a little less than half power. In a battle, each player takes it in turns to launch. A round is completed when all players have exhausted their energy or skipped the remainder of their turn. If you skip, any remaining energy is added to your total for the next round. A new turn begins. Our energy is refilled. We gain 7 for our main hub, 3 for the well-placed energy collector and 4 carried over from the previous round. Let's extend our network. For this, we need to launch a new hub. Notice that warning rings appear when we attempt to launch too close to an existing power line. Power lines cannot overlap, so you must plan your network carefully. You can launch from any hub. Use these arrows to select the active hub. You are now familiar with the basic gameplay. True mastery will take a little longer. Here is a rundown of the function of each weapon and unit. Costing 1 energy, bomb. A standard explosive with a small damage radius. Cluster releases a spread of three small explosives. Repair. Land it on any damaged equipment to repair a small amount of damage. Anti-air. Shoots down incoming fire but must reload after each shot. Bridge. Target water to create a platform that can support buildings and power lines. Tower. Provides a wide area of visibility. Costing 3 energy. Missile. Auto targets and homes in on enemy material. EMP. Temporarily shuts down units within its blast radius. Useful for disabling shields. Spike. Sends a damaging pulse up and down a power line. Reclaim. Destroys whatever it hits without triggering the explosion. Balloon. Provides visibility without blocking your network. Mine. Fires a spread of three proximity fused explosives. Costing seven energy. Crawler. A devastating traveling mine which advances at the end of each turn and explodes on contact. Virus spreads through a network, damaging and temporarily shutting down units. Shield generates a protective force field around its base. Energy land on energy pools to increase energy points per round. Offense fires all weapons over a greater distance than the hub. Hub the basic unit for launching and extending your network. Thank you for listening, and we hope that you will enjoy this classic strategy game as much as we do. See you on the moon, Commander!